Oh man, my camera is so much better than Sam's. Team Bro Pair! Alright guys, this is gonna be Blake's Blue Eyes versus my Psyframes. And um, I won the die roll, and I think I opt to go first here. Um, looks like, yep, I opt to go first. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, open up with. Um, I think I opened up with Curry Band and Pot of Duality. Yep, there's the Pot of Duality. And right now I'm trying to decide if I'm going to scoop up the Card Card D or if I'm going to risk the Curry Bandit. And I decide to risk the Curry Bandit. Um, I pick up that, uh, that that Rippling Mirror Force, Drowning Mirror Force, whatever you want to call it. Um, I guess, I mean, I don't like that they changed the name. <laughs> I liked Rippling Mirror Force better. But um, anyways, I activate uh, Curry Bandit. And I uh, mill five. I didn't get the mills I wanted, but I got rivalry. Um, what you want to do? Um, why curry bandit is good in side frames is because if you if you you, you get to dig through your deck, uh, hopefully mill out some drivers into your graveyard, get them out of the deck. Um, but also, um, if you mill the trap card, you get to search um, any side frame card. You get to search uh, you know side frame um, this the spell. Like you could search the uh, you know the circuit or any monster. So it's really really good. Um, Overload can uh, banish itself to search anything but itself, which is fantastic. It is so good. So um, that's why Curry Bandit comes in handy. And being able to like dig down into your deck is just great. Um, but play playing against Blue Eyes can kind of be a pain in the ass because like. Uh, I mean the the deck blue eyes just gets out so many like big monsters on the board and like a lot of the times like you don't see me have to do this I think several times in this match like have to uh, burn a card from my hand and like just to um, you know keep them from from getting somewhere like right there I got lucky with the rivalry um, and uh, the like bricked the, the uh, effect mailer he's got to send that effect mailer to the graveyard right there but um uh, I'm having to keep his deck at bay like I have to pitch a lot with overload and so I don't take like a shit ton of damage like right there I had to burn the, the uh, drowning he knew I had the drowning he was getting me to burn it up because I mean he literally watched me search that with pot of duality like there's no way he didn't know <laughs> that I had that card you know um but um like now and here's the other thing like on the flip side um you know, um, I, <laughs> yeah, we were joking right here. He's gonna beat me down with Stone of Ancients, <laughs> but, but anyways, um, on the flip side, um, you know, playing against side frames is a pain in the ass. Like it is just a total pain in the ass. I know it is. Um, I don't like playing against the deck myself, especially in the mirror match. You just sit there and like jerk each other off, and like, I mean, there's <laughs> like, what else you supposed to do? <laughs> like, you you can't really do anything in the in side frame mirror match. Um, yeah, he blows up my uh, my other drowning beer force um, and uh, my circuits with the twin twisters, and that that was just booty. That sucked. <laughs> I uh, J Maxi to his uh, silver scry, and um, <laughs> let's see, I draw off the uh, Maxi, and right now um, I'm banishing the um, the ancients. I got I keep the ancients off the board because I don't want the fucking spirit on the board. I don't feel like burning two cards to kill one. <laughs> like, like, uh, before playing Blake, I've had to, like, use Overload to bait out Spirit's effect and then, like, Gamma the, uh, the Spirit effect. And it was like, ugh, oh, God, I don't want to have to do that. That's <laughs> so much work. So this game, I'm luck I get lucky I have Overload on the field, so every time he, he gets a tune around, I'm like, no, no, die, die, die. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, I think, uh, I think the 3k, uh, damage right here goes through. I think I let it go through, maybe. Um... Wait, was, he, was he? Did he? Did he swing? I thought he swung. I thought he swung. Yeah. Um. You no. Know, right there. That, yeah. That's right. He redeclared because uh, I was shuffling and stuff. But um. Yeah. I banished the. <laughs> I overload it. Like, what else am I supposed to do? Like, I can't. I can't eat three. Three grand damage. That's just. Oh, that's brutal. It's so brutal. Um. And right there. Um. Um, I stop his uh, trade-in with Delta, which is brutal, and I have to do a really clever move right here because he activates Raigeki, and what I do is I um, activate Overload to banish my own driver face up by banishing my uh, tuner face down, and I do that in case I draw a Psychic Field Zone, um, because I didn't have, after all of that, I didn't have a driver in the banish zone, so um, I wanted that uh, driver in case I drew from Psychic Field Zone so I could get out of Synchro, because this whole game so far, I have not gotten out of Synchro, like, at all. And um, right here, I drive her away his uh, his shrine. Um, not drive, no, sorry. I dealt her away his shrine. Um, and then I'm going to activate um, Overload, uh, Banish Driver, Banishes. Uh, oh, wait. Whoa, whoa. That cheeky bastard. That was supposed to be Banish Face Down. He put his breakthrough skill in his graveyard. I just caught that. <laughs> 
Oh, the cheating, a cheating asshole. <laughs> I would have been pissed. <laughs> but, but anyways, um, that that breakthrough skill is supposed to be in the banished pile. I think he put it in the graveyard out of habit. I don't think he meant to do that. If he did mean to do that, what a, what a dick. <laughs> I would have been pissed if I got like an Omega out and he like, you know, if I tried to banish on his turn and he like like broke through on his turn, I would have been like so mad. <laughs> but um, I can tell you right now in this game, it's just like a stalemate. Like it is a total stalemate. Um, it's a really good game. This is actually a really, really good match total. Um, you know, it's pretty back and forth. Um, this first game, I'm like struggling to stay alive. Like I really am struggling to stay alive. Um, and right here, um, he gets to search for the Ancients, and, um, I don't think I really do anything. Um, like, Blake's, like, smacking this kid around. <laughs> this kid's, like, being, like, misbehaving. But, um, like, um, uh, he twin twisters me again, so there's the, the, he gets my circuit, and he gets my rivalry. Um, and then, uh, right here, um, what am I gonna do? What's, what's he gonna do, rather? What's he gonna do? Um, I activate another rivalry. <laughs> so like, yeah, I chain rivalry because he pitches. Uh, we get Doss over to confirm it. Who's our Who's our judge? But yeah, um, he activates um, Ancient's effect. He tries to get out of Blue Eyes and I rivalry, <laughs> so he can't like control um, a, a monster besides the one he's got on the field, which is brutal. Um, so rivalry of warlords actually is proving to be semi-effective versus blue eyes <laughs> like on paper like the decks like all dragons So it shouldn't be in you know in the least bit effective, but it's it's kind of effective sometimes like you know Because so uh, you know side frames main deck it because you know you're playing all psychics and um, you know if You're going against rogue you're going against like anything like um, rivalry of warlords is just a fantastic card and um I'm just, you know, once again, this is like a stalemate, like, I'm kind of stuck doing nothing, um, waiting on Blake to make a move, uh, I don't have Circuit on the board, though, so it's, even if he makes a move, like, I'm only, I'm only countering what he's doing, and, like, I'm only, like, um, you know, I right hear, like, I'm just, um, you know, being proactive and, like, banishing his stuff, but, like, that's all I can do. Like, I don't have Circuit out, like, I don't have anything. Like, right here, I Soul Charge, uh, Maxi is Soul Charge. So, and I think I get like a, like a stupid draw off of, off of Maxi, like I think I get like another, um, overload or something, and it's like, well, I already have two overloads face up, this is stupid, and like, that thing, I think that was my last drowning mirror force right there, guys, he keeps getting rid of, <laughs> getting rid of him, he's like, he, like, it's stupid, <laughs> he's supposed to attack into it with like all of them, and it's not happening, <laughs> um, but anyways, um, like right now, um, he's reading, making, he's like reading the side frames, we're seeing which ones, like, you know, I have banished, and he's like reading them, um, and, um, I'm banishing, uh, the, the Stone of Ancients again, like, I don't want, I do not want, <laughs> um, yeah, I do, I do not want, uh, that, that spirit coming out, I cannot afford to, to burn up resources and try to get rid of that damn spirit, so, uh, he gets out a Harbinger, um, which is a really, really good card, and I have a Psychic Path in hand, so what I have to do is I have to, um, I have to, like, overload it. I think I, that's exactly what I do, is I end up overloading, uh, yeah, right here, I overload the Harbinger away, so, um, I can free up the Psychic Path, and I pay 800 off of that, and then I will get, um, I, I think I add, uh, add back a Beta and Driver, <clears throat> I think I add back, yeah, Beta, Beta Driver. I think, yeah, because uh, I wanted to make sure I didn't get all my drivers banished, uh, just to be safe, because if I get all my drivers banished, I'm, like, totally screwed without, like, a field zone. Um, he activates uh, the monster aboard. Uh, he's going to banish uh, my third overload <laughs> um, with the spirit and um, on that attack. Um, yeah, like, I activate um, overload, and he, chain he, like, he, like, taps out the spirit, and then um, I try to activate a second overload. And then he solemn, he, uh, solemn scoldings me. He's teching in a scolding like an asshole. <laughs> he, uh, like, I, the scolding will stop the, uh, overload and, uh, kill it. And, um, I'm banishing for cost and 3k is good. I can't really do anything. So, yeah, that was a really, 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 really long game one. Um, so now we are in game two. And, um, he, uh, upstarts. So I'm at 9k life. He, um... He activates a trade-in, so um, 
and he activates um, the uh, the guitar dude. I forget that card's name. Uh, Melody of Awakening Dragon. And see, he searches the alternate dragon. So I go ahead, Max E, because like he, um, alternate white dragon is a um, it's an inherent summon. So like you have to you know preemptively like activate Max E because um, you know <laughs> like he, 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 otherwise you're not gonna get a draw like. Like, and I needed, I wanted to get a draw, so that's why I activated Maxi. And right here, I'm activating a circuit, and, um, um, he activate, I activate a Curry Bandit. So he has no response for the uh, Curry Bandit, except for, uh, no, he does have a response for Curry Bandit. Uh, he has the uh, Spirit Effect. So, um, right here, um, I get the mill of the trap, which I really, really wanted, which is great, so I'm gonna get a search, I'm gonna add a, uh, um, a psychic path, which isn't too bad, like, right now it's kind of bad, because I don't really have anything banished, um, but, you know, that's, that's, you know, probably gonna change, you know, during the duration of the match, um, but I bumped psychic path down to one, guys, I don't really like psychic path all that much, I think it's perfect at one, I think fuel zone is by far the uh, superior card, like by far, like it's it's so good. And uh, right here, I'm uh, I activate um, the psychic path to get rid of the stone of ancients. I cannot let him have a fucking spirit dragon. I cannot say that enough. I, like, and uh, on top of that, um, if I didn't mention this before, like spirit dragon is a floodgate for uh, psi frames because you know you can't summon two monsters at the, monsters at the same time. So it's like yeah, it's it's so it's so good. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, negate the attack of his alternate dragon. Um, you know, kill it in the battle phase, um, and then I'm gonna synchro summon off the circuit right now. And uh, I think I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna synchro summon. Um, I could, uh, I could technically uh, black rose him, but I would, you know, neg myself so much I wouldn't want to do that. But being able to black rose your opponent on their turn is fantastic. It's like having an Exiton Knight. Uh, which is, you know, another thing that makes Cyframes, you know, playable. But I go ahead and go with the safe play. Um, I go with Zeta. And, um, right here, um, I'm explaining to him, you know, what Zeta does. You know, he's got two spirits in defense mode. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what am I supposed to do? He's got Spirit of Blue Eyes, two of them, in defense mode. Like, <laughs> he Raigekis, and I have no response for Raigeki. I can't do anything because Zeta only works on the attack position, uh, special summon monsters, so I couldn't do anything. Um, and right now, um, I think, uh, I think, uh, I fucked up, um, I, I could have, no, I think what I decided, and what I was explaining to him, I could have, um, activated Overload to, um, you know, banish the Zeta to, uh, you know, get rid of one of his cards, but I decided not to, I decided to get a Surge, I wanted Zeta to go to the graveyard so I could get a Surge back, because I was, like, low in resources in hand, and I really, really wanted, um, I really wanted that back. So I added uh, the beta back, and uh, right now um, I just passed turn. So um, let's see what what Blake's gonna do. Let's see what he is going to do. He just uh, swings with uh, Felgrand, and I activate beta, and he chains Felgrand, and then I chain the Drowning Mirror Force. So good. So right here, um, you know the um, uh, what's gonna happen is a uh, Drowning Mirror Force is gonna activate as a chain like three during the attack declaration. Um, we, uh, Blake even calls a judge over, we get a judge over, um, just to confirm it, but yeah, um, like, yeah, there's, there's Doss's hand. <laughs> so just to confirm it, um, uh, Felgran gets shuffled back into the deck, um, and then, uh, his effect fizzles because he has no target, and then I get Beta's effect out, um, and Beta's gonna summon a driver from my graveyard, and then, um, the circuit's gonna kick in, and I'm gonna get Synchro Summon. So, 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 so good, guys. <laughs> so good. Um, so, uh, right now we're in time. We are in time, that's why the dice came out. And, um, we really, like, I mean, it's, it's not uncommon for Psy frames to go into time. And, that, and that's why you side. I side in, like, um, I know, um, I, th I think I side in trying guesses. I tried to side in, uh, there was another card I was siding in for a little bit. I can't remember what it was. But, um, yeah, try and guess, like, you gain 3,000 life points because your whole, like, uh, extra deck is, like, syn synchro monsters. So it's really, really good. Um, you Sonic 3 a bit when you go into time, but um, yeah, I just get that Zeta. I'm just gonna sit on Zeta, and um, right here, like Blake can't get over my Zeta. I don't think he can't get over my field. So yeah, we go into time. So this is game three in time. So this is like we drew, like so it would be a draw, but this is you know this is local. So you know this is an official local match. So um, right now we are um, in like full serious mode. <laughs> 
he summons out a, um, a white stone of legend um, after you know I had set a card, but um, then I activate um, Alpha when he summons the stone of, stone of legend. I get a search for the overload, and then I summon Driver, Synchro Summon off the circuit, and um, I'm really thinking about what I'm going to go into here. Um, but I, I just decide on the safe mood and go uh, safe <laughs> safe move <laughs> that mood <laughs> the safe move and go into Zeta, and um, that is. Uh, he sets two and passes, that's it. Uh, you know, I think he kind of bricked, and um, right here I'm just, uh, you know, we, we have two turns each, this is my second turn. I got some damage in, he gets to search for blue eyes, and then it's his go, this is his last turn, and um, right now it comes down to the wire, he's gotta get some damage in. Um, he activate. He summons Effect Mailer. He activates. Um, he activates the. Um, what is that? Sage. I can't remember what that card is from his hand. He's always going to target the Effect Mailer and attempt to get out of Blue Eyes. But um, I um, activate Overload, making it miss target by banishing the Mailer. And um, now he's kind of uh, in a situation where you know he can't do anything. And that is game, guys. After that is a really, really long match. I know, and it's a lot to narrate. <laughs> like, believe me, I thought about. You know, throwing this on just hyper, super, just crazy fast forward, but um, you know, it just was just incoherent. Um, you know, it was too hard to narrate when I when I fast forwarded it too much. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this match. And um, as always, if you like this video, the dick slap that like button and subscribe.